Okay, just give us a, an entire series of them. Like, that'd be so cool. Yeah, I'd be pretty bitter too if I was Dooku, honestly. That's how she dies? Damn. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching a brand new series, and that is Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. And this is not a rewatch. The other movies were. We are finally getting to a new Star Wars show that I have not seen, and I am very, very excited for it. It's one of the first times on the channel that we can get to Star Wars content that I have not seen before, because I've seen pretty much everything, except a couple things that I know I should get to, but we will, I will. I probably have to do it on my own time, so I showed you guys my lightsaber in the other videos. Let me show you something new that I just recently did. Ta-da! Boom! Look at this guy. I built, I just bought it on my birthday because I was like, fuck it, why not? And yeah, little birthday gift to myself. I know it's missing this part right here. It would be a shame if I dropped it, but yeah, it was really fun time to build. I really wanted the UCS one, but then, um, yeah, I saw the price of it and I realized that ain't happening, so I got this one. Yeah, it would be a shame if I dropped it. No, honestly, I kind of had an idea to take a video of <laughs> just being like, on my phone and be like, just got done building it and then just drop it. I don't know if that would be worth it, but anyways, we're going to be watching Tales of the Jedi because the trailer for Tales of the Empire just came out and I hesitated to watch the show because I didn't have any Star Wars content on my channel. So it was like, this would be kind of random to do for the channel without any other Star Wars content previously prior to it. So I was like, let me wait till he gets all the movies. We just recently finished all the movies one through six and the trailer for Tales of the Empire just came out and that's coming out on May 4th. So I'm very excited to do that. And there was one shot in particular I saw in this trailer and I was like, that's it. I'm doing it. I'm just doing the show. So yeah, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into the series. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. If this video gets a thousand likes, I will do Tales of the Empire right away as soon as it drops. Literally the day it drops, I will watch all of them and then I'll edit them all like the next day and then post it the next day. Oh, ai, 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 she's here. I think I know who this is. Oh wait, no, that's not her. <laughs> By shot, it looked like Ahsoka. That's probably Ahsoka. It's probably her as a baby and that's her mom. Ahsoka. Yep. Life and death. Are you Dude, that looks so much like her. Her mom. Oh, it's her mom. It's not crazy to think that was her. Not yet. Don't make fun. You'll insult the spirits. The trees. Ancestors. That's a hard shot. Pavti. Off on the hunt? Well then. She gives us so good. <laughs> to am I. To am I. Thank you, Gontika. It's pretty cool. We get to see Ahsoka's family, her tribe, everything. Their rituals and stuff, you know, for good luck. That's pretty cool. Everywhere there is life. Value it. Honor it. Honor the life, yeah. I mean, it kind of contradicts the hunting, but like... <laughs> Damn. Personally, I'm not a hunter. Like, there's no, there's no way I could do it. Like, uh, I wouldn't have it in me. Yeah, I'm a Soka Raider. You must face death, Ahsoka. Do not fear it. Uh, yeah, dude, poor guy was just munching on some grass and just got blasted. Like, damn. Um. Feel that? Hmm. We know Ahsoka's force sensitive, obviously. Is she too? Is it implying that? Because she could feel it? I think so too. We never oh shit. Oh shit. Yes. It's our big boy. You're, no, you're not good at it on that. Send the dogs. 
Send the Pomeranians. Mm, oh, pff, just picked her up, shit. Yeah, that's why you don't bring your fucking one-year-old baby out hunting with you. I get you were trying to show her and stuff, but like, dog, she's one. Dude, imagine if Ahsoka was then raised by Sabretooth Tiger. Like, they didn't eat her, they just raised her. Feel it, yep. They're connecting through the force. Damn, that tiger's afraid of her now. So good didn't even know what she just did. She just instinctively did it, you know. Force. We will not stop until we find her. I bring her back. So you guys can fucking have her. I don't need this witchcraft. Oh, she, um, she tamed it. She built a connection. She built a bond. Do we It's like, whatever, bro. How could this be? And now they know. Or she knows. Jedi. Yep. Ahsoka is Jedi. Like, now they know she's Force-sensitive. I feel like it's a big leap to assume Jedi, but... Okay. Or, or whatever. All right, well, that was episode one. Earth. I'm just kidding. Set us down well clear of the village. Tensions are high enough. Yes, master. Is that Dooku? A young, handsome Dooku? I think that is. Then that's Qui-Gon, because I know Dooku was his master. Goes Yoda, Dooku, Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, Anakin, Ahsoka. Fuck happened here? <laughs> Where is the child? Yep, Dooku in the subtitle. Where are they holding the senator's son? Why should we tell you? Allow me to make my intentions clear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are here to help resolve the situation. Mm -hmm. it's For the senator. For everyone. And when you entered this village, you could see the effects of his long-standing policies. If you don't like him, why not elect a new senator? It's not that simple. I wish it were that simple. Yeah. Perhaps in the beginning, Senator Dagonet was a good person and had the interests of the people in mind, but now... He has the interest of money. I will show you where the senator's son is. You're one of the kidnappers. Bro, they all are. So they want shit to change. They all are. Yeah. Justice. Have you been treated well? Not compared to how these people are living. You are not aware of these conditions. I rarely leave the capital. Oh. When I do, I spend time off world on Coruscant. Exactly. Not here. How could my father allow this to happen to his people? Dooku's about to agree. He's about to agree with them. You're not doing shit for these people. Because Dooku, he didn't leave the Jedi Order because he just turned evil. No, he left for different reasons. And this is a reason. He's here. And brought soldiers. Our coming here was not known to the senator. And it's just stuff like this. And Qui Gon being his apprentice, you know. Damn, she looks disappointed. It's like, what is she supposed to do, bro? Like, she is hungry. Yeah. Many would do the same. Jedi, arrest these criminals and have them release my son at once. Nah. I'm afraid our investigation is not yet complete. <laughs> Yep. They abducted my son. Why don't you read the room? I'm sure you, your son, is in no immediate danger. I'll be the judge of that. Bro, either he's gonna be in danger because of you. Dooku's about to fade and protect all of them, and then Qui-Gon here is gonna be conflicted and be like, uh ah, Serve the Senate. No. No. <laughs> we serve the people of this republic. So be it. Run it. Hey! <laughs> Stand down. I will not. That's hard.
Ah, oh, they're terrified. <laughs> That's real for Qui-Gon, because, like, he looked a little conflicted, like, I don't know if this is the right idea, but he's like, if my master's doing it, so am I. Damn. He's about to kill him. I will destroy this town and make an example of it. None shall defy me. Bro, what? You master Jedi. Oh, oh. I saw it cut off in the subtitles. So I knew something was going to happen. Master. Yes. Oh, damn. Yeah, this, this is dark, dude. Corruption like yours oh. must be eradicated. No. Master. It's over. How could you do this? Mm hmm. These are your people. Our people. Yeah, you're too busy fucking jerking off in the capital. You never noticed. <laughs> yeah, Qui Qui Gon had to do that to save everyone. I will not allow your suffering to continue. I promise. I wonder if any meaningful change will come of this. Uh... Your actions saved many lives today. Yeah. You're a much wiser man than I, Qui Gon Jin. Thanks to your teachings. Dude, fuck it. Just give us a, an entire series of them. Like, that'd be so cool. Alright, well, that was episode two. That episode's a really good example of why Dooku ended up leaving the Jedi Order. Like Kaimundi said in the Attack of the Clones in, like, the beginning of the movie, before they knew he went to the dark side, was he's a political idealist, not a murderer. And that's why they thought he left the Jedi Order, because he just didn't agree with how they were running stuff. And he felt like they were getting shit done on the dark side. And yeah, he has a bit of darkness in him, like he almost killed the Senator right there, and Qui-Gon had to stomp him to not only save Dooku, but save the long-term effects of what would have happened if he would have killed him right there, too. That was a really good episode. I really like that one. You've been studying oh. that tablet for a long time. That's Mace Windu. And Senator Larry's testimony isn't enough for you. Master Catry died from an ambush. My instincts tell me it is not that simple. And if Master Catry was killed, how did the Senator escape? Why are you concerning yourself with these questions? The Council gave us our instructions. I trust the Council. To return Master Catry's body to the Jedi Temple. But something more should be done. Since we are not members of the Council, we cannot involve ourselves uh. in local political skirmishes. Your devotion to rules is sometimes inspiring and sometimes maddening. It's frustrating for Dooku. Why would you choose to go without a security detail? <sighs> because I hope for peace on Raxus, and I'm willing to do anything for it. Being the Jedi that she was, she refused to let me out of her sight, and she paid for it with her life. I don't trust this. <laughs> I'd like to see where you and Cantry went. To go back there and relive the incident would be heartbreaking. Shut up, dodging. I can show you. It's obvious that he's hiding something. Yeah. We should take this information back to the council. Would you want Cantry to leave without finding out what happened to you? I would want her to follow protocol. Yeah, Mace Windu is all by the book. And Duke is like, hmm, let's do some self-investigating. They're gonna realize how staged this is. They know what the fight would have looked like. It happened so fast. I, I couldn't give you an exact number. Master Katri. Mason never stopped. Before she could clear the area, they descended upon her. <laughs> smell that? I smell bullshit. <laughs> if Master Katri were fired upon here, why are there no blast marks on your ship? For a Jedi to succumb to a surprise attack is rare, unless that attack is from someone one would trust. Mm, like that's you. funny. Oh shit! Hey. I will have the truth. Dooku, hey. mm, yeah. stand down. Maze is gonna have to bring him down. Maze would actually fade him though. The guards killed her! Okay. Oh, oh damn. Ah, uh, they gotta fight. <laughs> Dude, Maze and Dooku? Oh, no one's beating this duo. <laughs> no one in the fucking galaxy. Oh my god. The sequences are insane in animation. You and all of the Senate puppets will see a reckoning. <laughs> no! You really thought that would work. 
Eh, it's desperate, try to try something. We are part of a group who learned Larrick was using his sentency to become rich at the expense of our people and planet. He was selling off our planet, all from his comfortable residence on faraway Coruscant. Okay, it's the same it's the same thing as the last episode. <laughs> same situation. Why didn't you take this to the proper authorities? Jedi claim peace, but mostly keep law and order for the rich and powerful. Mm -hmm. She would have listened. Dugu does not like that. Your ideology, while faulty, does have its points. I don't condone your methods, but you had every right to protect your planet. Damn it, dude, I love how we're getting a Dugu backstory. If they continue to take everything the Senate says as law. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we are guided by our council and not by politics. Okay. No ego. Yeah, wait till you meet Sen wait till you meet Senator Palpatine, buddy. You see how Dooku loses faith in the Republic and the Council and the Senate and everything. It's like they're not doing shit for the rest of the galaxy. You see how much empathy he has for the people. I am told you will be presented with Master Catry's council seat. Mm, he doesn't want to base on the council. <laughs> you and I both were together when the mission was assigned. I stuck to the mission. You decided to interfere in a way that led to a senator's death. Yeah, that's kind of valid. He's just too aggressive with it. He's too quick to get aggressive, you know. Not afraid to kill people, which is not what the Jedi are, so. Anyways, that was episode three. Code accepted. Master Sifo-Diaz. Hmm, sifo -Diaz. Planet, Kamino. Yeah, the clones. Kamino. Location deleted. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Damn. Archive data deleted. That's how that happened. <laughs> yeah. Damn, he knows what he's doing. What's causing all the excitement, Master Jocasta? Your apprentice. Mm. Why gone? He's a stud. It would seem he has encountered a Sith Lord. Oh, oh, it's Phantom Menace. Where was this encounter? On Tatooine. Tatooine? Okay, so during the time of Phantom Menace, Dooku was still a Jedi. Less in these great holes. He's like on the edge right now, because like he just deleted the Camino final, so like yeah. But damn. I guess word travels fast. Hmm, there we go. Wow. I actually wasn't too clear about the timeline of like when he left and everything. So. I encountered a highly skilled warrior, one obviously trained in the Jedi arts. I've been warning them about the coming darkness for years. Speaking on behalf of the council, there's no reason to cause undue alarm. Shout out Yaddle, by the way. Doubt his claim. No, I do not. But the wisdom of the council is to be cautious. Yeah. Until we know more. Okay. Master Yaddle is right about one thing. The Sith Lord is not to be trifled with. And I will not be there to protect you. My old Padawan. Obi-Wan fills that role now. Aww. He acquits himself quite well. Dude. I should like to meet him someday. Oh, yeah, they never met. Always singing his praises. Yeah. It's true. He mentioned that in Attack of the Clones. And we always talked about him. Yep, and the way that the council just dismisses it, they're like, eh, whatever, you know. That pisses off Dooku. And Yaddle, like, she definitely agrees with Qui-Gon there, but she doesn't want to disagree with the council. It's like, it's disrespectful in her eyes and everything. Like, no, it seems like no one really wants to talk back. So she's just kind of going with it, but. I was fascinated with this tree, having been born here on Coruscant. Planet of steel and stone. The only tree on the fucking planet. <laughs> that's a hell, that's actually really sad. Living on Coruscant would suck. The funeral is to be held there. I doubt I would be pleasant company. You hold them accountable. Qui Gon Jinn has become one with the Force. Oh, he's dead now. Damn, that was fast. It is time to let him go. And you can do this. No. What choice have I? Yeah, he's bitter. Because they didn't take it seriously, and Qui Gon kind of died because of it. Yeah, I'd be pretty bitter too if I was Dooku, honestly. Oh, Yaddle's going after him. Oh my god, wait, is Yaddle in? I just thought of something. Did she die in Order 66? If she was in Attack of the Clones, 
and Revenge of the Sith. She was just in the background on the council. Dude, maybe she dies right here. Like, maybe she's going after Dooku to, like, make sure he's okay and stuff. See what he's up to. And he, he kills her. Or he's meeting with Palpatine right here. And she dies. Hmm, yep. You've gone too far. You allowed Maul to kill him. Mm-hmm. You lost an apprentice and so did I. All in service of our greater goals. He could have been a powerful ally. For you, perhaps. Yeah, I was just about to say. Question my loyalty? Always. Ew. And I will ask more of you if we are to succeed. Camino, the clones. Mm hmm. How many have died because of my actions? A lot more. No. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, she's dead, 100%. This ends here. This Lord. Dude, I respect it though, Yaddle. She's all about it. Whatever your crimes are, help me now. Whatever you have done, mm -hmm. you can make up for it now by bringing him to justice. Yes. Blindly serve a corrupt Senate that fails the Republic it represents. He's so conflicted. Kill her. Fuck. <sighs> I'm afraid. It is too late. Damn. No. Don't fight him. Don't fight him. No. Ah, she has to. Mm. Dude, this is fucking amazing. This show is awesome. I think this show is 100% vital to episodes 1 through 6 now. 100%. It has to be. Because, like, this st backstory on Dooku is so important. You were right about so many things. The council should have listened. Mm hmm Qui-Gon did not have to die. But it was part of Palpatine's plan, too. He knew how much of an influence Qui-Gon was. <laughs> Damn that pose. <laughs> That's how she fucking dies. Damn. You done well, He's... my apprentice, master. Oh wait, no, she's not. Mm, hell yeah. Dude, she has so much heart. Oh, it's too much. Okay, now they're gonna kill her. I want only to bring peace and order to the galaxy. No! For what you call order. Let me give you peace, Master Yaddle. Damn. R.P. Yaddle. Okay, yeah, honestly, I wasn't sure how she died. I assumed it was during Order 66. But then, when I thought about it, that's fucking terrifying. When I thought about it, I was like, wait, I don't even remember if she was even in the background of, like, Attack of the Clones or Revenge of the Sith. I couldn't picture her in my head in any scene. So I can only I can only think of a picture of her from Phantom Menace. So I was like, yeah, maybe she does die right here. And damn, she did. I think it's now super duper important to the movies because this will give you so much more context and what he means when he's talking to not only obi-wan and attack of the clones it explains a lot about Camino and everything um, yeah i'll be honest i wasn't sure what the timeline was beginning of this he's already been talking and colluding with palpatine at this point and so that's why he wiped all the files and stuff Qui-Gon Jinn had died already which like he just recently died but like and you could see how everything just slowly pushes dooku slower and slower like he he only wants to bring peace and order to the galaxy but it's like, he just has no faith anymore in the way that the Republic and the Jedi handle it. Cause they're too stingy, they're too by the book. And he's like, nah. But like he low key kind of gets it in his own way. The way he handled the last two situations, I like where his heart is at. I just don't like the way he handled them. Like he's too aggressive with it. And yeah, Palpatine took advantage of that, boom. And it's all Palpatine's master fucking plan. Maul killing Qui-Gon works out perfectly for Palpatine's fucking plan for Anakin and stuff. It's, it implies that Dooku and 
was under the impression Qui-Gon wasn't gonna die. Maul wasn't supposed to kill him. But obviously Palpatine is like, no, I'll kill him. You fucking do it. And then Palpatine can kind of bullshit his way out and be like, yeah, he would have been a powerful ally for you, not for me. I think it has more to do with the fact that the role he had on Anakin, so. All right, on to episode four. Mm, there's Anakin. Oh, okay, okay. Th okay, this is Clone Wars Anakin now, so t another little time jump. Okay, and Soak is already introduced. Oh, Plocoon. Damn, Obi-Wan. Right on time. Oh, really? Dude. I thought I was late. That's what I meant. Dude, we got Mullet Obi-Wan in Clone Wars. Or animation. Damn, that's sick how they, they're just watching their train. This is how the training's supposed to go. Training remotes designed mm. to simulate battle droids. Yeah. Puts on Luke. Not this complex, but... It's cool we're seeing how they were, like, supposed to be used back in the day. <laughs> Too clean. Thanks for coming, Master. Well, I was in the area. What's the problem? It's mm. a lousy test. Mm. But it's not credible? It's what every Jedi does. Exactly. Mm. You're not every Jedi. You're my apprentice. Look, you want a real test? Oh. Name it. I'll make you an actual test. And then we'll see what you really learned. Practice makes perfect. Oh, he's gonna fucking put her through the ringer. He's not afraid to push her, but he just wants the best for her, you know? Captain Rex and the boys have agreed to help with the test. It's our privilege, Commando. First time seeing Rex on the channel. Droids are predictable. Clones aren't. Feel the intention of the trooper who will fire first. You should be able to sense the moment before they even pull the trigger. Honestly, because of this, it's probably why she survives Order 66. <laughs> I'm sure he's done this with her multiple times, like after this. Don't worry, Rex. She'll wake up. You'll be used to it. Wake up. How long was I out? An hour. Damn. Uh, Jesse really tagged you. Jesse. Sorry. Yep, get back up again. Yeah, I want, to see, I want to see Anakin do this. Obviously, he'd wax him, but like, I just want to see him do it. <laughs> Again. Mm -hmm. Again. Again. Okay, okay, okay. Instead of going again, why don't we take a second and you explain to her why she's fucking off? Let's take a step back and be like, okay, here's why you're getting blasted, and then go again. Well, you're waking up faster. <laughs> Thanks. The droids aren't half as good as Rex's men. That's the point. Yeah. I want it to be difficult. This is about life and death. Life and death. The best way I can protect you is to teach you how to protect yourself. You ready? Damn. She's getting it. Ooh. It took us five minutes to knock you out that time. Okay, okay, we're getting better. I can do better. Yeah, oh, see? She won't give up. Oh, Rex is... <laughs> oh. It's not easy being in Ken's apprentice. If you're his apprentice and you succeed, you will be a damn good Jedi. Oh, shit. Oh, this is season seven. Yep. See, that training helped her out now. This is why she was able to do it. Let's hope all that training pays off. Hold your fire! Was that actually in season seven? I don't know, it's been a while since I've, I've seen this episode. Damn, what an episode. That was episode five. Oh, what, what is this? Oh, it's Patty's funeral. Dude, she's even bad as fuck, even in the animation. Oh my god. Dude, show me Jar Jar. Show me Jar Jar morning, please. Oh, so yeah, she, she was there. She doesn't even know what happened though. Like, how she died, 
by she doesn't know about Anakin yet. She just knows he was in danger, he was in pain, and then boom, all that shit happened to her. She just knows that he died. There's nothing you could have done for either of them. Why risk it? She had she has to pay her respects to Padme. That's why. She was my friend. Yes. Imagine being Ahsoka. All she knows right now is that Anakin died. She doesn't, she only knows Darth Vader killed him. And she's like, so imagine how, what she must think of Darth Vader. Like who the fuck? She's like, who the fuck could have killed Anakin? You know, I would be, I would be so scared. Whoever killed him. You can only imagine. If you need anything, you can contact me with this. I'm tired of fighting. You there. At this point, I don't think she knows it's Vader that killed him. She just knows he's dead. Let's see some identification. An obligation to uphold. Mm. When we're able. It's talking to her. They're like, yeah, sure, bro. <laughs> and if you should ever need anything, please contact me. <laughs> yeah, whatever, bro. Ooh, damn, that was clean. Oh, so good, what do you do? Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, okay. So we could just. Oh, you gotta go. You got caught. You gotta go. Please? I can't have friends. It gets more difficult every season. In the beginning, you all welcomed the Empire. Emperor Palpatine brought peace. Through persecution. Yeah. Not. No one is safe. We are safe, but not because of the Empire. Mm -mm. Is your brother coming along? No, but we'll be fine, won't we, Master Jedi? Yep. You shouldn't say such things. I saw you push the bales clear of me. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Why didn't you tell us? Why would I? There's nothing to tell. Don't worry. It's our secret. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm not staying here. She found the simple life and just ruined, like. This buddy, buddy's gonna snitch. He's loyal to the Empire, so. May the force be with you. Shut the f I'm out, I'm out. I couldn't get half what they offered us last season. Oh my fucking god. Damn, he snitched. They came and wiped out the entire village looking for her. Okay, oh, Inquisitor? Fucking idiot, dude. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea who this guy is. I just know he's an Inquisitor. And yet, I find no one. I turned her in. I, I should be rewarded. That's not how that works. But the Empire. He's not lying. Ooh, fade him. He's gonna kill him. Here is your reward. Yeah. Oh, oh. Let's see if she is a real Jedi. Can it be? Okay, that's hard. I'm not even gonna lie. You're supposed to be dead. Looks like I shall be. Yeah. Oh, she, yeah. Oh my god, this guy is sorry. This guy is soft. Damn. She didn't even need her lightsabers, bro. Oh my god. Look! Look what you did! Yeah. You got everyone killed. I'm so sorry. I know. Hmm. What a guy. Things have only gotten worse. Are you sure you're ready to get back into the fight? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. All right. Well, that was episode six. Okay, honestly, the farmer guy, the farmer kid. <sighs> obvi okay, obviously, it was a really dumb idea to inform the Empire that a, a Jedi's here. But, like, honestly, if you're kind of if you're in this situation, I feel like his perspective is, you know, if I'm just loyal to the Emperor, 
to the empire, then I'm just gonna get the best life I can. Like this is a shit situation. So if I'm disloyal, they're gonna kill me. He, you're forced to be loyal in this. Like they're really forcing your hand, but like he was just, naive to think that he'd actually be rewarded for it but for a farm kid you probably you have no idea what their actual intentions really are so like yeah you're gonna think like oh maybe we'll get some more crops for the season or whatever you know we'll, we'll get more food like that's what they'll do and then now they, they're just gonna kill you that inquisitor was just gonna kill you to claim the reward for himself and get the credit i kind of get why he did it and then ahsoka did too you know ahsoka understood that's why she's like i know so from a viewer perspective, we know it's a terrible idea, so. All right, well, that was Tales of the Jedi. This show was amazing. Like, this show is actually really goddamn good. I know it's Disney, and I know people want to be like, oh, Disney Star Wars kind of sucks. This was really good. I had no issues with this. The only, like, the only thing I could say is, like, episode one was kind of, like, eh, whatever. Like, it was, it was cool. Could we have done without it? Yeah. It was cool to see where Ahsoka's from and everything. And, like, they're so short. It's hard to really get, like, a good episode going. Like, like with the Dooku ones, I wanted, like, I wanted those to be longer so badly. When they ended, I was really disappointed, honestly. I'm glad we got three episodes, though. Like, a little mini arc to that. But, like, it, if they were each, like, an hour long, oh, that'd be fucking beautiful yeah i wish these episodes were definitely longer that's like the only that's like honestly the only thing i don't like about this show is how they're so short but that that's kind of a good problem i guess because it leaves you wanting more and everything but yeah i i really like the dooku arc definitely my favorite arc of the entire of the show so far i think these episodes really help you understand his character like you know you know where he stands already based on the movies but this really helps give you a lot more context on it it's kind of the same thing the clone wars did for anakin just gave you more context on his character and like you know instead of just exposition for dooku you get like actual storytelling on it anakin you do get storytelling in the movies but then clone wars just expands upon that it was cool to get some answers to stuff i like wasn't really sure about too like yaddle okay i remember watching like a youtube lore video on Yaddle like a couple years ago and it, it explains what happened to her so like i was i'm really fuzzy on it though but i, I guess this is, this is actual canon now and like honestly i really like this like this i'm perfectly happy accepting this as canon for yaddle then again like i think she's a perfect character to have do this to have be, to be slain by dooku and how, that's when he really turns to the dark side like that's the moment like anakin had the moment with mace and everything because like yaddle she's a cool character but like, honestly, I remember a lot of people like shitting on her and like not really liking her. So, and they, they made her likable in this. And like, I wish we got more of her, to be honest. I would not mind at all. Having her slain by Dooku to push Dooku's character development, I'm not mad, I'm not mad at all. And then I really like how Dooku's arc went into the movies a little bit too. Like they just drop a line here or there, let you know where we're at. And I'm like, oh shit, that's actually really smart. And yeah, I'm really happy I got a clear, a clarification on Dooku's timeline throughout the movies and stuff. Cause like, you know, he wasn't in Phantom Menace at all and i didn't know he was still a jedi during the phantom menace but like that makes sense he was because you know the first sith popping up like yeah if he wanted to leave the order before that it's like what's he gonna do you know just go be a civilian no you know he's like yeah might as well stay but then this pops up, you know, and then Palpatine comes over and grooms him. Yeah, and it's really cool how he got that clarification on him and Kamino. He's the one who deleted the files and everything, so the Jedi never knew about it. The look he, he had on his face when he did it, you know, he knew what he was doing. I wouldn't say he was fully turned at that point. Like, I mean, he was pretty committed to do that, obviously, but... The moment he killed Yaddle was when he like he officially pledged himself over. And then yeah, we got a nice little epilogue with Ahsoka post season seven. She tried to live a simple life, tried to save that girl's life. Farm boy was being lazy and tried to stack too many hay bales, and it almost got her killed. And she had to do it. So then they realize she's a Jedi, and then they just yeah fucked over the entire village kind of makes her feel like shit being like look like what am i supposed to do let that person die no the chain of reaction that happened after that led to the entire village getting burned down so i kind of get their perspective on just being loyal to the empire because if, yeah, if you're just a regular civilian like what are you supposed to do fight back you know that's the rebellion becomes a thing obviously but like for them specifically it's like you know what for us to have the best life we just have to be loyal, you know? Like, there's nothing we could really do here. Just us. So, and in that case, it's like, look, this life's gonna suck, but yeah, if we're just more loyal, then we'll probably have a better-ish life. But no, backfired. Backfired so hard. Because like, you just know the Empire's in charge now. You don't really know their true intentions and everything, so. But yeah, this show was honestly solid. I'm gonna give it, okay, wait. 
to rank the episodes, I'm going to go four, two, four, three, two, six, five, one. That's how I'd rank it, to be honest. That was Tales of the Jedi. I am super excited for Tales of the Empire now. But comment down below what you thought about this series and what your favorite episode and what your favorite episode was. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.